Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fourth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the echo statement in PHP and we're going to see how we can output text using PHP to the screen. So I have a file opened up here in my text editor. It's called hello.php and you can see that I have some HTML tags in it and I also have uh, the PHP tags in it. On line number six, the opening PHP tag, you know, then I have some PHP code and then I have the closing PHP tag on the same line. Now, a couple of things that I would want to mention is that uh, even though the head tag in this document is the HTML tag, I still have the extension .php for my file. And if I would save this file with the .html extension and would try to open it using uh, Apache, then this code, the PHP code in the file would not be translated. I would just see the output of the HTML tags and nothing else, right? So it's very important to have the PHP tags, uh, sorry, the extension .php to the file even if there is just one line of PHP in the file, right? And uh, the other thing is that PHP is white space insensitive. So, you know, instead of having the closing PHP tag on line number six, if I want to have it on line number seven instead, it's not going to make any difference to the way Apache is going to translate this code, right? And um, in the head section, I have the title tags and uh, between the opening and closing title tags, I have the text, hello YouTubers. And there's only very little HTML that we're going to use uh, in this course. You know, maybe later on, we're gonna talk about forms a bit and uh, if you haven't practiced HTML in a long time, it's not really going to make much difference. And if you want to learn HTML from scratch, then there's another series of tutorials I have on HTML. You can watch uh, that and uh, familiarize yourself uh, with all these uh, tags. So anyway, between the opening and closing PHP tags, I have the word echo and uh, echo does in PHP what uh, printf does in C or uh, you know the print function does in Python. It just you know outputs stuff. Right. So in this case, I have uh, a string that I'm going to output on the screen and uh, I know it's a string because I have enclosed it within double quotes. So there's a, you know, uh, opening double quotation mark here and the closing double quotation mark here and in between the opening and closing double quotes. I have the uh, the text hello space YouTubers, an exclamation symbol and then a space. Right. And then, of course, I have the semicolon to terminate the statement. I'll save the file and I'll go to my browser. And instead of info.php, I'm going to now search for hello.php, which is the name of the file. When I press the enter key, I see the text hello YouTubers, right? So that's how the echo function works. And you can actually concatenate strings uh, in the echo function and you can, you know, display two things together. So let's say uh, in this file, you also want to see the result of a mathematical calculation. Like, you know, you want to multiply the numbers 17 and five, and you want to see the result of that appended to the, uh, to the string. So you can do that by giving a space after the second double quotation mark, and then you can type in the concatenation operator or the dot operator, and then give another space and type in the mathematical expression that you want to evaluate. So let's say you want to multiply 17 with five. I'll type in 17, then the asterisk symbol, which is the multiplication operator, and then the second uh, argument, which is five. And I'll save this file now and I'll refresh and there we go. We see the result 85, 17 times five is 85. So we see, see that. So that's how you concatenate strings. And we're going to see a lot of this in this course. And uh, that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we'll check out more features of PHP. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.